She is high HIV positive. She was infected by a guy 18 years ago. Maybe out of that, if she is bitter, if she is in a revenge mission, I can ask with a lot of humbleness, how many men can she sleep with so that she can be healed? Welcome, my viewer. Today, I want to talk about something that has been trending about a lady by the name Kiki Wangedo. Okay, she's a lady whom, after 18 years, she has come to realize herself. Her story has been trending in the social media, many supporting her, others are against her life and everything, the life she has been living. And um, everybody is entitled to his opinion or her opinion. But my viewer, me, me, I want to analyze the, the life of this good girl in, I think, in three or four points. And I'm not going to analyze this life because I'm, I'm a judge, you know, or I know it best, no. But I'm going to analyze it so that we can learn something. Because we have so many keys in this life that we are living. And my viewer, and when, when she was presenting her, her life to one of the media houses, I come up with four things, either three or four, that I want to share with you, my viewer. N number one, it's about brain game. Okay, she's saying her mother abandoned her when she wanted her most. Akaeda maju kuhaso. And wakati likuwa maju, alikuwa na atumia pesa, atakama kuna somebody somewhere who was taking care of that money, you know, mamba ya pesa tunazijua sana. So, haikuwa inafikia, hama kufikia sistake. And, 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 and the, the point I want to drive home is very simple before I talk about brain game, is that uh, it is good we as parents we understand one thing that our children especially nowadays generation they are not desperate of our money they don't need our money they need you as a parent they need you as a guide uh, as a guardian so they don't need your money they don't need your dollars because there are some things that they want uh, to be impact in them and this money cannot do that it is just you yourself because if you send a good time and a quality time with your um, with, with your child you are going to learn a lot of things that is the side of the parents but when we come back to our friend Iki Wangedo is that uh, even though wakati wengine sisi kama watoto tumelelewa kwa mazingira tofauti it comes a time you understand that you are living your own life it is not you're not living your mother's life, you're not living your daddy's life, you're not living uh, your uncle, your, your guardian's life, you are living your own life. So, and that's the time you understand who you are. So that is what number two, as she continued to emphasize on her story, it is in record, she said that uh, she got a HIV AIDS 18 years ago. From where? From men. Why? Because she came to a point of selling her body to men so that, so that she can be able to, to pay some bills. That is housing, you know, evil. So, akaona ni mzuri juhana na mnaigine, aende, aanze kuhuza mwili wake. It is in the code. So, it is good to say this to my viewer. Sometimes we come to desperate situations and we are in need of money and we are in need of material things. But even though it is not good to behave as if we are desperate. So, my viewer, let me tell you something. 
That is point number two. I talk about blame game number two, it is desperation. There are some people, when they realize you're desperate of something, they take advantage. How many women have been taken advantage? How many beautiful girls have been taken advantage? What about even the young men? What about the poor people in our village? They have been taken advantage because they seem to be desperate. So the moment you develop a desperation attitude in you, people can take advantage. And that's why Kiki was taken advantage because she was in need of money. Number three, I realized that when she was giving her story, she was a bitter woman. And I'm not judging. And because she was a bitter lady, she thought of taking a leverage. And here, my viewer, I want to talk to the people who are hearted. My viewer, you can be hearted. People are hearted in our families. Wives, husbands, children, parents, guardians, uh, employees, employers, name them. They are hearted. And, and let me not dwell with a lot uh, uh, so much with other people, but allow me just to dwell mostly on our family. Maybe you have been in a relationship and you get hearted. Maybe your wife or your husband, she or he has not been faithful to you. Let me tell you, the biggest brother that you're going to make in your life, it is the time that you take or you think of taking a revenge. What do I mean a revenge? You think, okay, my, my husband has a side chick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for a sponsor. Okay, my wife, I think she has blah, 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 an affair somewhere outside. So, after Mustiana Atae ni mwonyeshe, Haju, haju. At that mix of it, you find you're not building your family. You're bringing down your family. And I normally say this, revenge will never heal you. Let's, for example, take our friend whom we are discussing, Kiki Wange. She's high HIV positive. She was evicted by a guy 18 years ago. Maybe out of that, if she is bitter, if she is in a revenge mission, I can ask with a lot of humbleness, how many men can she sleep with so that she can be healed? Nothing like that. So the people who are in marriage, the people who are in relationship, don't be quick as revenge is concerned. Because you are going to hurt your life. The men that we are in marriage or in relationship let us learn to zip our zip there are so many kikis wangendo outside there they are not they don't care about your family they don't care about your children they don't care about anything what they are in need is just their upkeeps so men let us zip our zip finally There is a God of second chance. My view, as I climax the story of Kiki Wange, is that uh, God can heal. And the best about healing when we are wounded, when we are being used and misused by other people, when we, uh, we live a useless life, it is number one to accept ourselves. Number two, let us seek professionals because they are there. They are going to guide us the way to do and what to do. So, in every situation you may be undergoing through, there are some professionals. They can help you. And number three, in that point, forgiveness. I wish somebody can tell or talk to this Kikiwane and tell her forgiveness is the best solution. Yes, she was hearted. Yes, the mother she was in need of, she was not there for her. Yes, 
the family was not there for fine the time for forgiveness is now but i can talk to the kikis that they are they are bitter they think they can't forgive if you won't forgive you'll never be forgiven kama husamehei atawe hautasamehei if you forgive other people the healing process starts and you be healed so until we meet again talk of more talk of every day's life that is happening i am by master please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i believe you'll be blessed more video coming soon